phone. Chapter 22. He's dead. King Duck's dead. What are we going to do? He's not dead. He just fainted. He's losing too much blood. Oh, oh, oh. this is terrible. It's all your fault. Shut up and grab some leaves. We have to stop the bleeding. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry, put pressure on the wound. What do I do? What do I do? Just help me hold down on it until the bleeding stops. Should I blow on it? Would that help? Blow on it? He's gushing blood, Woody, and his arm is off. Don't yell at me. This is all your fault. King Duck is going to kill us when he wakes up. My fault? It was that human, the old cow woman's granddaughter. She cut his arm off, not me. You're under orders to evacuate the valley. You should have left the humans alone. I had to attack them. They were right there. You disobeyed orders. I couldn't help it. It was that little bone guy was with them. Mm. Succulent, marbled with fat little bone guy. Someday we'll catch him and stuff him in a key. See? You wanted to eat him too. Oh, no, you don't. Don't you try and blame this on me. This is your fault. You're the one who's weak. Take it easy. And look what you've done. You killed King Dog. Oh, 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 oh. Even say that. If he dies, things are going to get worse. Worse? What could be worse? If King Dog dies, then the Hooded One will find out we disobeyed orders. Really? That would be very, very bad. The Hooded One learns we got his chief officer killed. He'll have our skins peeled off. Oh, oh, oh. He'll make rugs out of our hides. No, stop. Please don't die, King Duck. We don't want the Hooded One to know we killed you. On the other hand, if he does die, the Hooded One will blame the bones and the cow woman's granddaughter. Well, that's true. King Duck is the only one who knows we disobeyed orders. How's the old fellow doing, anyway? Well, it looks like we stopped the bleeding and he seems to be breathing okay. Let's run away and hide forever. Yes, let's. Hold still. I am holding still. Grandma, please, just let me see your arm. My arm's fine, though I'll be losing precious time. The townspeople must be looking for us by now. We need to talk before they get here. So talk. Just stop moving your arm. Ow! See? You opened up that cut again. Listen to me, Thorn. Mm. Take it easy there, will you? What I'm about to tell you, dear, concerns not only you, but everyone who lives in the valley. You see? You are not like other people. Ow! Yes, I know. I'm a princess. You already told me. No. That's not what I'm talking about. There were princesses before you, and there'll be princesses after you. Like grains of sand on the beach or stars in the sky. I should know I was one of them. But you were hidden as a child because you are a Vinayankari, an awakened one. You have a terrible path before you. Grandma? An awakened one can walk freely between the waking world and the dreaming world. Agents of the Locusts will be searching for you. Whoa, Grandma, what are you talking about? They'll have to go through me first. Hmm. I don't think they'll even notice you, Bone. Agents of the Locusts will stop at nothing to free their master. The Dreaming? Isn't that the name for the old time? You've heard of this? It is the old time, but it still exists. It's all around us. It's forgotten hum that all the animals and all the trees are still listening to. It's just us who can't hear it anymore. Most of us, anyway. There are those who are trained to listen. There are reports coming out of the eastern mountains that the rat creatures have a new leader. A leader who wears a hood pulled down over his face. This is in keeping with the traditional manner of the disciples of Venu, who in the days of old were guardians of the kingdom. The Disciples of Venu are also a mystical sect, a religious order devoted to the study of dreams. My fear is that this rogue disciple leading the rat creatures may be planning a forbidden ritual, a ritual intended to free the locusts, using either my granddaughter or your cousin Fonsible. That's why we're taking Thorn to the ancient city of Athea, where she'll be safe. I'm not going to Athea. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're crazy. Dear, you're upset. Listen to me. Listen to you? Why? Everything you ever told me was a lie. No, dear, listen. What I'm telling you is true. This is suddenly the truth? My parents are dead, and I'm a princess with magic powers? What does that make me? A fairy princess? Thank you so much. Sorry. It is true. On the day you were born, the dragons came to us. They told us they could see your dreams on the horizon like a pillar of fire. Let go. Thord! Do something, Bone! She's in danger! Stop her! She doesn't know what she's doing! And you do? Phone Bone! Wait! You're right. You're both right. Here, take this sword with you. Now go, quick, before you lose her. Get Thorn back to the Barrelhaven Tavern in one piece. I'm counting on you, Bone! What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. You go see Lucius down. Be sure and tell him that the rat creatures have evacuated the valley. And take this. Show it to Lucius and tell him about the Lord of the Locust. Hey, Thord, wait up! Are you okay? Hmm. I don't know. I'm sorry about that fairy princess remark. I don't know what I was thinking. It just popped out. It's all right. It was kind of funny. Here, have a sword. What are you doing with that thing anyway? What, this? I don't know, I just wanted it. Halt! Halt? Jonathan, is that you? Miss Thorne, you're alive! Yes, we're safe. What is this wall doing here? Did Lucius have you build it? No, miss. Lucius never came back last night. He went out looking for you and Grandma Ben, but he never came back. Oh no, that's terrible. Let us in. Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you in. Strict orders. Absolutely no strangers are to pass the gate. 
What are you talking about? We're not strangers. Let us in. I'm sorry, Mr. Bone, but according to the new boss, anybody who's not inside is a stranger. Strict orders. Afraid there's nothing I can do. I'll tell you what you can do. Jonathan, who gave you these orders? Um, the new boss did? Who's the new boss? He is. <laughs>